Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. So in this session of manual testing, we'll be discussing about another interesting topic of, I mean the method of manual testing that is V model, which is also called as a verification model. Okay, let's get started. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the in-depth details of all the V model and verification model advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so speaking about the definition of what is this verification model. So as per the definition says, the V model is a type of software development lifecycle model where process executes in a sequential manner in V shape. Okay, friends. So the definition is saying that the V model is a development lifecycle where the process executes a sequential manner in V shape. So if you ask me what is this sequential manner in V shape, you'll get to know what is the exact of the block, uh, exact of this V shape sequential manner in the block diagram. Okay. So the verification model models will explain to you the detailed description of how the project is designed, coded, and tested in each and every single phase. Okay. So it is also known as verification and validation model. And it is based on the association of a testing phase for each of the corresponding development stages. Okay, so each stage directly associates the testing phase. The next phase starts with only after completions of the previous phase. That is, for each development activity, there's a testing activity for corresponding to it. So, friends, if you didn't get the clarity of these definitions, so let's go to the next slide. See, in this scenario, what happens, speaking about the block diagram of this verification model, at least you can clearly see here, all the phases are designed in the form of V shape. For that is the reason it is called as V model, verification model. Okay, the main, uh, the main application of this V model is that it includes design phase, testing phase, as well as coding phase. You can see the left side requirement design, system design, architecture design, and module design. These are called as designing phase. And the right side, unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. These are called as testing phase. Each of these module design and testing are interlinked. Uh, and the middle one comes as coding part. So, friends, I'll be discussing the each, uh, I mean, the each phase individually. So friends, speaking about this requirement design. In this phase, what happens friends, in this requirement design, the customer expectations, realities, and their budget is completely explained and accepted. And all the information that user is expecting from the particular project that he has submitted to an organization for his job will be collected. All the customer expectation uh, to his expectations regarding the project and based on his budget is all the data is collected in this requirement design. okay so speaking about the system design so in this phase what happens first in this phase all the software requirements hardware requirements and the official people who work on it is successfully collected in this phase that's why it's called a system design in this phase what happens first? in this phase what happens first? All the data, I mean, all the software and hardware requirements that is required is collected in this phase. Okay. So speaking about architectural design. So in the design, what happened, friends? System design is broken down into multiple modules. Okay. So in this phase, what happens? We will create three to four blueprints so that we will have the clear picture already on what blueprint we will get the exact customer expectation on minimum low budget architecture we create multiple blueprints that uh, i mean if i go with the plan a i'll check what is the budget and time if the budget is high i'll go with plan b if the plan b is not successful plan three until then until we will create multiple designs until and unless we find the design that which is which is not time consuming and very low budget that that uh, that scenario is covered in this architectural design so speaking about module design, in this case, what happens, friends, each system is broken down into multiple sub-modules. Okay? And this is also known as the overall design. All the sub-modules is successfully executed and they're combined together. And next comes coding. 
all the internal operations of the coding the project is done in the coding phase and once the coding phase is done we will directly move to the unit testing so what are these unit testing friends speaking about the unit testing the first level of testing here what happens friends we will test the test cases of each step by step we will not go any in-depth and critical scenario inputs we we'll just make say blindly until if the uh, program is successfully executed it is called as unit testing you will not go any in depth of this uh, critical inputs whether if i give this input this output will come or not because in this unit testing phase the first thing is bug is eliminated and the program is successfully executed but we cannot judge the, the program which is successfully executed produce the exact output or not so after this phase the project is submitted to the integration testing so integration testing Testing is a form in integration testing. What happens, friends? The modules are integrated in the system, is tested. Okay, integration testing is performed on architectural design phase. This verifies the communication models of themselves. Okay, so this is the role of this integration testing. And next comes system testing. System testing, what happens here? What happens? Complete application and the functional of this project is successfully executed. And the next responsibility is that you have to successfully I mean successfully install the project to the customer place that's the root system testing if if a particular project is designed and you have submitted to the customer but the customer is expecting to install the software that is submitted to the customer place itself only that is called as user acceptance testing this is what happens that the user environment resembles the problem the production environment verifies that the delivery system meets user requirement and system is ready for the real world. In, the, in this is what happens all the system that is completely accepted ready and installed in the user i mean the customer environment is successfully done in the real world and it's ready for execution okay this is a very small video regarding the verification model but it's good to know the in-depth details of this verification model okay so last but not least speaking about the advantages of verif verification model it's highly disciplined model and faces are complete one at a time you can clearly see in the block diagram of this verification model friends it is highly disciplined i mean all the faces are clearly organized at one at a time all are not traffic related okay Speaking about V model is used for small projects. The projects required environment is clear. The verification models, uh, uh, as I explained before, verification model contains eight phases. It is used in the small projects, not any in-depth like server-related or firewall-related kind of projects. And it is simple and easy to understand. Next, this model focuses on verification validity, validity activity early in the life cycle thereby enhancing the probability of building an error-free and good quality product okay so speaking about class and our some sorry it also enables the project management and track progress accurately so speaking about the disadvantage of fee model with high risk and uncertainty okay next it's not good for complex and object-oriented problem language as i said before friends it is not good enough to yeah, it is not good for the project which is uh, used for the banking security system, server related, or uh, whatever it may be, a big projects which is considered time consuming. And speaking of, it is not suitable for projects, the requirement is not clear and contains high risk of changing. Assume if you want to make a change in the middle of the project, this model is not suitable. We have we have different model for that. I'll be covering in the next videos. And this model does not support iteration of faces okay and it, it is easy to handle a concurrent event okay thank you friends and before at least editing the video so if you have any doubt regarding the verification mode request you to kindly please pin down your doubts in the comment section i'll definitely reply you back and if you have any doubts regarding this verification model please pin down and if you like this video request to kindly please like share and subscribe thank you very much friend. have a nice day keep coding love you all bye